grand motherfucking rising and a high ascension today, everybody. It is currently 8.02 a.m. on March 11th, 2024. It is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and humid today. It's going to get like 60-something degrees, 65 or something like that today in Minneapolis. Um, I'm very excited about it. Um, yeah, I am. Uh, thank you, thank you, Most High God, for giving us this beautiful weather, this beautiful day to be with each other. I hope everybody slept well. I hope everybody had a wonderful Sunday. Um, I'd like to just, you know, again, give some thanks to the Most High God for waking me up this morning uh, in peace. I woke up very in peace. It was very peaceful when I woke up this morning. So there's obviously some type of energy shift going on around me. I'm grateful for that shit. You know, you feel me? <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, it's the start of the week, so let's just give some thanks to our spirit guides, our spirit teams, law enforcement, intergalactic beings, galactic federation, ancestors, 5D and 3D. Thank you, I love you all, I appreciate you. And new subscribers, thank you, I love you all very much. Current subscribers, thank you for coming back, and oh, geez, I definitely fucks with you, you feel me, okay? Uh, anybody else I'm missing out, thank you for the financial contributions made to my channel, the super chat, the su super chats, the super thanks, the donations to my PayPal or my cash app. It was all greatly appreciated. Um, I also just want to thank everybody again uh, for, uh, you know, the increase in the views and the likes and the shares. You know, I appreciate that. That means that I'm doing something uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Or something really fucked up and everybody's laughing behind the scenes. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, no, I do know. Uh, you know, uh, people, and I've noticed too that a lot of, um, there's been a lot of weird comments. I mean, I guess that comes with the territory. You know, more the more the more your, your content circulates, I'm sure other content creators can, or, or artists, they ain't got to be content creators, but I'm just talking about specifically on this platform. The more your shit circulates around, the more you get weird ass motherfuckers coming around. <coughs> Excuse me, stroke got scratchy. Somebody want me to shut up? We go through that every day, but they, um, you know, weird ass shit going around. Motherfuckers just saying some weird stuff. It's like, okay, you know, uh, when you're a reader and you and you pick up an energy and you put a message out there, you can easily see who the fuck gets triggered. Somebody put on a comment, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna start doing like a hate mail, a hate mail segment for real, because some of this shit would be hilarious, okay. Um, <laughs> somebody put it on there yesterday oh there goes another fake one well bitch let me see you do it if i'm fake if i'm phony i wonder what i wonder i want to see you lay some cards out and see what you come up with with your dumb ass blocked okay and then you get somebody else that um that says shit like you know wants to debate something and it's just like it's a general reading I mean, if you triggered by it, then maybe you obviously, you, bitch or nigga, you got some shit you got to work out, okay? Like, I'm telling you, like, there's certain parts of myself that I have changed, you know, uh, you know, especially like the volatility or like the uh, the firecracker kind of snapping, you know, quick to snap and shit. But I will still cuss your motherfucking ass. I, I like, I like to talk shit. Get your dumb ass from around the channel. You're just going to get blocked. I'll look at it and I'll go, hmm, block. Cause you you've been triggered. Now sometimes I can see through it. Like there's been a couple of people that have posted some some kind of you know they don't want, listen. They done got a little disrespectful. I could but I could tell that they was triggered, but they still stuck around. Yeah, I'm not gonna block you because you know there's something that you obviously need to hear. There's something I need to hear too. You know, I'm not I'm not one that's better than anybody else. I'm not one that's uh, that's so much more uh, healed. You know, I'm not getting into all that because I feel like we can all learn something from everybody. This is a this is a this is a maintenance project. This is not a. Uh, this is not final. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm not speaking this into my existence, but I will tell you that um, when you get too comfortable in the idea that you are better than another motherfucker, or that you got everything, all your, all your shits together, you, you can't be fucked with. Okay, that is when your ass will take a hard tumble. It's just as easy as you got. No, as hard as it was for you to get to the top, it'd be easy for you to fall off that motherfucker. You feel me? That message needs somebody need to hear that shit this morning. You feel me? All right, so there was a couple of different things that I wanted to talk about this morning, and yeah, I did. Okay, I wrote them down. There's motherfuckers manufacturing karma for you. I just thought about that. I was laying in my bed, and I was, I was cracking up. <laughs> I, was, I giggled a little bit. There are people literally sitting around mad because they done fucked up their lives. I'll repeat that again. There are people that are upset that they done fucked up their entire lives. Okay? They done went to prison for some shit they did. Stupid ass niggas or bitch. They done did something they ain't had no business doing, so now they getting karma. They done stole something, so now they broke. 
They done talked a bunch of shit and then somebody caught them outside and beat their ass. Okay? They done did some black magic on your ass and then it, it backfired immediately and a, and, a, and a bitch is looking like Fire Marshal Bill <laughs> after that backfire. <laughs> let me show you something. No, bitch, let, let karma show you something. Boop. Okay? That's what's happening. People, don't worry about it. I just think it's weird. They, there's a whole karma manufacturing process of what people like buying karma or like sitting around just, you know, people making up stuff about you, trying to get you arrested, trying to get you thrown in jail, trying to get people to walk away from you type shit. It's just weird. Manufacturing karma. Next up on the list. Uh, don't let nobody change who you are. Nope. Be yourself. Throughout my journey on this platform, there were a number of different things that I was aff affected by when people would say like I was cussing too much or maybe I should put the tarot down or may and I, you know, I went through it. Not going to lie. Um, and when I tried to make those changes, it felt weird. It felt off. It felt funny. Like it was because it wasn't me. Okay. You get somebody that you, but, but I'm saying this could be a relationships, jobs, community, uh, which, you know, whatever else. You know, but specifically when somebody wants you to change something and, you know, there are times in our lives I do feel like a person can say, uh, hey, you know, somebody that cares about you go, hey, man, you know, you 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 kind of that shit's a little fucked up that you be doing. Or, you know, maybe you might want to think about reconsidering how you handle certain things or the way you do certain things. This is called uh, constru uh, constructive criticism or suggestions. You know, you know what I'm saying? But if you got somebody that wants to sit around and keep telling you that you you got to change this about the way you are, you can't be authentic, you can't be you. You change one motherfucking thing, I'll tell you what, the next, every week it'll be something different to the body and then two months later you don't even know who you are. Okay? You was walking around wearing boxer briefs, now your ex is wearing boxers again, people still wear boxers? I don't, I don't know. But it's just stuff like that, you know, they'll be picking out the color of your underwear, uh, telling you what kind of perfume or cologne to wear, how to wear your hair. How to brush your teeth. How to wipe your ass. Just don't change for nobody. I mean, if you're going to change, change for you. You know what I'm saying? If you're unhappy with some things about yourself, there's always room for improvement or always, or there's always a, an opportunity or an, or, or an option or, or, or a choice for you to just get rid of the shit or get rid of a person. A lot of times people want you to change because they don't want you. They don't want you to get rid of their ass. So they know they know they low vibing. They know that they, they, there's some type of deficiency there. So what it is is before before you realize how badly that this deficiency is ruining your life, or how bad how low vibrational they are, that they're that they're sinking your ship. They'll they'll make it so that you yeah you appear to be the one or are the one that sinks your ship. You feel me? Or you're the one that's low vibing. They'll get you in the low vibing things, and they'll go, "It was your ass. It's you that brought us down this way." So that so that you feel guilty or that you feel. But it's all about people not wanting to change. People wanting to change you to fit their fucking life. Don't do that. I don't give a fuck who it is, family, friends, or otherwise, okay? I think it's insane, too. Um, hmm, never mind. Let's see what we got here this morning. That something almost really just kind of pissed me off a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to say it. You know, these family and friends again. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, a motherfucker can say I'm not healed or I need to get over some shit. Fuck you. Y'all did it. You know what I'm saying? And like real, like, I'm telling you right now, you know how I know without a 100% without doubt in my mind that uh, there's, some, there's something to what I'm saying. Okay. Because best in believe, if I was really going crazy, if I was really uh, that much of a danger to myself, if I was really that much of an out of my mind, horrible person, do you think I'd be sitting here every day recording videos? Wouldn't somebody, there would not, that this would, that would be the floodgates for all these fucking haters and old friends to be under videos going, you need to get some help. Can we help? You know, but ain't a motherfucker, it's crickets in this bitch. Every, cause everybody know that to keep their fucking mouth shut. Cause they know I will blast, I will blast every single one of y'all to oblivion with my mouth okay I, I will cut you the fuck up because the nerve of these people every i'm telling you this this whole entire the, the reason why we keep bringing up this uh this energy 
is because we are going through a very major shift right now where where everybody that is fake phony low vibing demonic okay anybody everybody that's not real fucking meat suits and shit don't have souls they're all being revealed to us at this time so we are we we, we are uh this this energy is so thick and it's so uh it's so regular because these people are regular fixtures in our lives we have to talk about this shit and provide some type of awareness to wipe this energy away that's why we keep talking about it i was getting real irritated like why the fuck i gotta keep talking about this shit and most high god just said because they're not gone yet they're still in the way for a lot of us for most of us there are some people right now that don't even realize they're sitting around a whole family or friend group full of fucking narcs this morning there's gonna be one person that's gonna comment under this video thank you very much now i see the light and you're welcome baby now it's free of charge for you ain't charging you shit you know i'm your uncle i don't do shit like that so get to this now i got this um this uh ai picture <laughs> let me scoot over now i first looked at it i said these motherfuckers no they they be who did ai be coming for me ai be coming for me i said what the fuck is this Okay, so I looked at it for a minute and I said, Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic. Then I said, Weird Al Yankovic. Okay. But then I looked at it again and it said, Clearly that's the gay uncle. Go uncle Peaches. You know what I'm saying? That's the gay The AI is fucking with me again. Or that could be your pimp ass uncle. The one that just they, that finally got his, like, got that little wave. Nouveau got that curl. Got his little uh, Jared curl going. It's, it's, it's 2024 and this nigga still got, he's still, talking about he got Indian in his family. Nah, bitch, that's a wave Nouveau. That's a Jared curl. That is an S curl kid, Uncle Peaches or whoever. But this is your pimp ass uncle. The one that's like, hey, I got this. I'm, I'm just, look at my hair. N nigga still walk, acting like it's 1976. He don't do cocaine. He do smack. You feel me? He don't smoke weed. He smokes reefer. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I just thought that this picture was like one of the ones that I would never ever be using for an intro. Okay. Look like some shit from a fucked up Old Spice commercial. You feel me? Let's get to these cards because that's what y'all came for. 222 when I look down we're still in alignment. We're talking about a Scorpio here. A landlord in the reverse. Scorpio. Landlord. Well, we all know what Scorpio stands for. An ending, bitch. <laughs> okay. Somebody finna be it. It's, a, it's an ending for a landlord or there's a, a karmic landlord who's a Scorpio. A lot of us have been waiting to hear, um, you know, we've been, I just, it is so insane to me how these people have been, had this power, have had this power to do things to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh. I told y'all, if I ever get rich one day, I will, I'm going to have me some type of company or organization that 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 gets right in the asses as soon as these landlords, and it can be proved that these landlords are doing some fuck shit, I'm, my company, or organization, is going to get right in that ass. I mean that. In that ass. And I mean, like, embarrass the fuck out of these landlords. Because the only thing that people generally have, when, when, no, when, when a person don't have nobody or nothing else in this world, they at least got a fucking place to lay their head. At least, like the bare minimum. You feel me? And for people to come along and threaten that is very scary. I've been there too many times. And I mean that shit. And anybody else, and anybody that sat around and, and, and participated in that bullshit, oh, you, oh, karma, karma don't forget in that dress or what the fuck you did. Okay? People don't care. People have kids. People have, people have lives. People, people have poor health. But see, this is the way the enemy works. He'll use people like, and, and these landlords and shit, they, now they should really be ashamed, especially from these big conglomerates. Like, they'll fuck around. You'll, be, you'll own every building that they've ever had. Cause see, you don't want to be a dickhead and and sue them so that they gotta close all everything that they own so they so that people then become homeless. You don't want to do that. You just want you want to take over and own the building so that you can show them how to really fucking do it. Okay. You know you don't hire you don't hire a turkey stuffed in jeans to run fucking offices. You don't hire convicted uh, conv convicted murderers to be uh, uh, maintenance men. You don't hire pedophiles to be maintenance men to be groundskeepers at uh, in your fucking property. You don't hire your whole family and friends full of gang stalkers to be uh, you move them in as as neighbors and shit like that to fuck with one individual or two. 
You don't do shit like that. That's why there's a Scorpio ending for this landlord. That's what I think it is. I think it's an ending for this landlord. In the reverse, too, the landlord's a karmic landlord. Give me one for uh, savings. Yeah, they listen. They going. They gonna go broke. Everything. Everything that they've earned. Everything that they that they have in investments. I just heard is go, they ain't gonna have it no more. It's an ending to that. So we're talking about the endings. Give me one. Give me another one for Scorpio. Scorpio landlord. And into these motherfuckers relaxing. You feel me? There ain't no relaxing for these landlords. Give me a couple of more for this Scorpio landlord or ending for landlord. What else is ending for the landlord? <laughs> Origin. All right. What does that say? Creativity, vitality. Yeah. It's an ending. This is the, the the life. Everything. Everything that everything that they from the ground from the ground up. Anything. Any investments. Anything that they've grown. Any new properties. Any new initiatives I just heard? A new development? Done. This one's really gonna hurt too, I just heard, because look at him. He's like, oh, I got this. this is gonna be brand. This is gonna be something. It's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. I love this plant. No, it's not. It's not gonna make it. Or you got to give up care for that bitch. That's what I heard. Give me another one more for Scorpio Landlord. Scorpio Landlord. Yeah. There's an ending for them teaching and showing people how to run fucked up properties with coaching the reverse. You know, don't they, they need they need to stop. They need to really kind of this could this could really just be that they need that 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 they that that the way they've been doing stuff is over and done with. That the way they've been doing stuff is over and done with. They're going to have to relearn just like everybody else. When you fuck up, when you fuck up, you got to, there's something that you need to learn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm picking up. So based upon this information, there's a, there's a landlord that's about to be very anxious because they're about to get fucking sued for everything that they've ever owned or for how, or for how they started some business or how they've been maintaining their business, how they've been teaching people how to run their business or lack thereof. There needs to be some more training here. Cause I'm telling you now, from where I live, there's no way, you know. And I was stuck in a bad situation, or else I wouldn't, I wouldn't have moved here. You know what I'm saying? I just would have had to find somewhere else to move. But I was already, it was the, that was the way it was set up for me to, to be stuck. But I just, you know, when I look, when I look over things now, and I think about the whole situation, it was fucked up. 7:47 on the clock. It was really fucked up, like how the whole thing went down. And 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 and, and the more and more I keep thinking about it, had I not been um, in such a volatile situation, had I not been like you know at, just under the pressure of everything like if i would have if i would have had if i would have gone through the same thing then that i went through now balanced and shit oh no it would have been totally i just said fuck it i almost did say fuck it i don't i won't i won't move here i mean that's what they were trying to do anyways on the day i came to get my keys and shit gonna tell me because i was disrespectful bitch you can't tell nobody they can't move in somewhere because they're disrespectful and that's why that lady and that other lady are no longer employed for this company you feel me not because I'm not gonna say it was because of me. I'm just gonna say because they were disrespectful. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Okay, let's see what we got here. We talking about Miss Cleo today. I said I wasn't gonna do the accent no more because I feel like that's kind of disrespectful. Okay, so I'm just not gonna do that no more. All right, let's see what we got here. Talk about karmic landlord, uh, Scorpio landlord. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so I can give a clear and concise message to the collective. I just got sad all of a sudden. Something bad happened. It's too bad. Let me get some cards, please, for the Scorpio Landlord. What's up? Come on now. Come on now. Oh, 
We got the Five of Swords to the Tower to the Knight of Coins to the Queen of Cups in the reverse to the Seven of Staffs. We're going to take one more from the top, the King of Staffs. Yeah, there's been some type of backfire. Definitely been a backfire. Uh, we got the King of Staffs at the at, at, cr crowning all this energy here. So this is some a low vibrational, thank you for the uh, confirmation, but some low vibrational uh, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. We got a Cancer Scorpio Pisces in the mix. Uh, these people are defenseless. These two people, these two energies from this, this Scorpio landlord, they're not even prepared for this tower because they've been... They didn't, they, this is, this is some, this is some sneaky ass energy, but more or less, this is backstabbing energy. The five of swords just talks about, um, doing whatever it takes to win. This talks about actually somebody beating, being bested. This, 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 this card literally is somebody uh, being, trying to be strategically slick to win. You see this, see, I'm, this, this card's a little different. See, this is kind of like, this reminds me of like the Seven of Swords though, but this is somebody who does, who cheats. This is a cheater. Because look, this usually this is somebody who's standing standing with, uh, like in victory. Like the victor. Like I won, ha ha, you know. That kind of bitch, the people that do, you don't want to play with these people because they're some fucking scabs. They're spoiled, entitled idiots. You know what I'm saying? But now, this is what happens. These people are obviously not paying attention. This person is sneaking off. So this is somebody that, uh, that... The, got the overlay for the under the overplay for the underlay is that what it is the overplay for the underlay these are these two energies back here they thought everything was cool these two people this cancer scorpio pisces and this aries leo sagittarius this could be a male or female it could be male and male could be female female but it's just an energy of somebody who's very cold-hearted and narcissistic okay and this is somebody who's very uh who, who's a poor leader this is a poor leader who's uh who acts on impulses who could be very who could be abusive uh, we ain't even gonna bring magic into the mix we're just gonna say that these motherfuckers are some horrible low vibing beings okay from this landlord for, for, from these property owners whoever however it works these could actually be a husband and wife now that i'm thinking about it these could be a husband and wife Yep. Yep, they let their guards down because they thought everything was cool. I'm, that's what I just said, didn't I? They thought everything was cool. Oh, we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go on vacation after we done fucked over the collective, okay? We we got away with that shit. We got away with that shit. No, bitch, y'all too busy. Now nah, y'all listen. Now y'all got now y'all got bested. You got five swords, now you're down to two and these three swords are going to be the one to put an ending to your ass is what I just heard. Yeah, cuz you you they they're defenseless. They're defenseless, okay? And they're not even expecting this fucking tower. They're not expecting about what's about to happen to them is what I heard. What's going to happen? What's the tower? We got the two of cups at the bottom. This is about partnerships. It's about partnerships. Partnerships walking away, stopped. So, so any type of business partnerships that these two people or this landlord or this corporation um was in the works of i just heard in the origin card this talks about that origin card new projects new developments new initiatives i keep hearing people are walking away partnerships are walking away and they and they because they stopped dealing with these people yep and they're gonna they're getting the message they about to be in some serious regret over their fucking actions you feel me when they get these messages because now they're under heavy judgment three of swords for betraying people for betraying people for backstabbing people you feel me they're under heavy judgment for that. Possibly targeting people who do tarot or spiritualists. You know what I'm saying? I just got ringing in my right ear. So obviously somebody's telling me something is a message. 411 when I look down on the clock. That, that was a transmission. What's up? What else you want us to know this morning? Somebody's about to get some money and got upcoming earnings. The notification down there. Four of Cups. Yeah, they're not going to... A missed opportunity or they not or they not gonna get some help that they need they're being restricted from being able to do anything else these two people i can't make it up spirit says that's the truth they've been restricted they're gonna be now they're gonna be held back they can't go anywhere they ain't gonna be able to move around i booger no oh, it's just niggas light skin i don't know we got the magician Page of Staffs. 
Okay, so this is something that you manifested to lay this to, to lay this to rest. Yeah, this is something that you manifested. So good job. I mean, you communicated. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Or oh, this does. This is the magician. So you did kind of manifest this. Whatever you did, but then, but the but the magician to the page of staffs talks about how you communicated to the universe. Um, what was going on? You asked for help. You asked for assistance. You are protected as well at Ace of Staffs. You're covered. You're protected. All you had to do was communicate this to the universe, and now you got something. We got four four there because you're chosen. Yeah, that's why they. That's why the universe heard you. Yeah, that's what they heard. So now you you get to lay this to rest, and now you have something to celebrate about. You completed a. I just heard you completed a cycle. Okay, so now your manifestation of this landlord getting their karma. Uh, you you gave it to the universe. You communicate to the universe what was going on. Again, the Queen of Staffs, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's mad too. This Queen of Staffs. There's somebody really mad about the fact that you did this. Some witch bitch. Okay, the Queen of Staffs. She mad as hell. She want to fight with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody wants to fight you now because you're getting, you getting karma. You get good karma. They get bad karma. Okay. What is this? Then, this, then the bitch shouldn't have been working against you. So we got three people here. We got a landlord. We got landlord, two people, and then this third pip. They was working against you. My guess is this the bitch that works in the rental office. Or a neighbor. Hello. I just heard it was a neighbor doing magic on you. This is a neighbor working with the landlord. That certainly is a neighbor watching you and spying you. I can't make it up. And you could be an emperor energy. Nope. Let's see. Emperor spying on you for the emperor and the empress, the couple. Spying on you for these two motherfuckers. We got the emperor and the empress. I don't care if the emperor is in the upright. The emperor might be in the upright because maybe he don't know what the witch bitch has been doing, the empress. But I'm telling you that they were working together and they, they asked this person to spy on you with the page of swords. They had this person watching you. They all been watching you, really, but this is the neighbor bitch. She's the one that hates your guts. The one that does all the noise campaign to 707 on the clock. <laughs> the one that does all the noise campaign. The one that's just really mad at you all the time. You don't know why. She's an unfriendly bitch. Oh, yeah, that's not your problem. She got problems now. They all got problems now. Okay? For working against you. Three coins in the reverse. Letting the bitch live there rent, rent free. Giving her keys to your crib to come in your crib when you leave. Okay? Checking your mail. Still in your mail. Watching you on that, that phone app. I just heard it was like a ring camera. Or like an Xfinity camera. Like for your doorbell type shit. This is the person that's been spying on you. This like this is the main person spying on you. This is the one that's always in your business. She's mad. She she hates your guts. She shouldn't have been spying on you. Yeah. Listening to these fools, the three of them. It all comes, when it all falls, I just heard when it all falls down by Kanye West. The star in the reverse. Yeah, they failed. This is miserable. These people are about to go down. It's all coming out. Okay. Any last messages, final messages here? Strength. Oh, uh, he listen. The courts is coming in for that ass. We got the higher front. The big boys about to put coming in strong. Cause while they was watching you, days motherfuckers was watching them. Okay, ten of swords. That's the ending. I told you, Scorpio energy. Ten of ten of swords. The big boys coming in to ending. Create an ending for these fucking landlords. Okay. Okay. Whew. All right, what do we got? What are we gonna tell the collective to get the collective kind of keep the collective motivated to keep moving forward? Listen, things may be up in the air right now. Things may seem like you don't know what's going on. It's a it's a touch and go situation. Just I would just continue to put tell you to put your faith in God. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I would advise. You know, you can do what you want to do, but I would just say continue to keep putting your faith in God uh, because as long as you've been doing things in the upright, and listen, you know, and I'm not even gonna front, you know. Uh, I was using, you know, using drugs and kind of just like doing me, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but there was a point where I stopped doing that because I understood the mission. I understood what changes I needed to make. If I wanted my external to change, I had to change things internally. And so when I stopped doing that and people were still true, you know, it, it was quite obvious to me that people were watching me, spying on me. Then they were trying to set me up to come to, to keep a habit continuing so that they would have a reason to say, this is why I, this is why we were really doing it to him. 
You know, he's bad business. He's e evil. He's this. He's that. But then when you stop doing those things and not being fake, but you but you genuinely do them because you know that it's time to change. And what these people had to understand is the, and what people should understand. And, and in my situation and in your situation, the likeness is there is that these people that are doing these things to you. Yeah, we do kind of get in a mode where we're like, why is everybody doing this to me? But we realize, but you have to realize that things are not being done to you. They're being done for you to change. These were, these are just, this is the universe giving you clear and clear and concise and harsh uh, notifications, okay, confirmations that it's time to change. Because if you don't change, then they, what you're doing is that you're giving people the permission to continue to keep doing this fuck shit to you. That's why I'm, you know, that's why I said people are going to do whatever they want to do. But I'm telling you now, me not using drugs anymore it was the, it was the and, and leaving karmic ass niggas alone and bitches and shit, karmic people. Those were the two biggest game changers for my spiritual ascension and growth, for my karma to shift. When I stopped using drugs and I got rid of karmic people, those were the two hugest shifts for my benefit. That is when the universe said, OK, this dude is serious. We can fuck with we can fuck with this dude like we can we, we can definitely work with this dude. We can we can help him out. Because what, what, what that does is I'm, and I'm getting God bumps and I'm feeling emotional about it because it, that's how powerful it was and it is. That's how much the universe and God listens to you. When you, when you, make, those, when you make those permanent kind of shifts, not temporary either, when you are committed to not doing certain things anymore or being around certain people anymore, I don't really give a fuck what it is, okay? You could be selling pussy on Monday and decide by Friday, I don't want to do this no more. God, please help me. And God was going to listen to you and help you as long as you mean it. Okay? Bring love into the situation. A fiery climax approaches and be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move today. If you're stuck in the situation uh, with these people, with your community, these landlords, make be bold and make the first move. Because they're because the whole time they're making moves the whole time around you to set your ass up. They're just waiting on you to, to go to get that one last that one last bag of dope to invite that John in one more last time. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what they're waiting on. I've I've heard I don't know how many times over the last year, Mr. Bowdy, you have impeccable timing. And I'm gonna tell you what that what what people were telling me that for. I had impeccable timing to stop doing the fuck shit I was doing because I'm telling you, if I'd have did it one one more again. That would have told the universe, it's time to, listen, he's failed, he's failed his mission. Get them boys in there, go raid that apartment, get his ass really put out of his crib, teach his ass a good lesson. I'm telling you that impeccable timing, I've heard that so many times over the last year. I have impeccable timing because I'm telling you that internal, that, I, over the years when I had to think about it, that internal, that internal alarm clock that I have where it signals, I listen to that motherfucker, I'm like, I ain't doing that shit no more. <laughs> I could be doing fuck shit for a whole week, and on, a, on that eighth day, I hear that that alarm go, "Nigga, you got to, you got, you can't do, no more. That's enough. Stop it, or you're gonna end up really fucked up." And I go, "Okay, I'm sorry." Like <laughs> dead ass, I'd be like, "I ain't doing that shit no more, dog." Drugs, you want me to put that down? I got you. I <laughs> That's exactly how easy it was for me. I don't want to do this shit no more. Uh, something bad's really going to happen if I buy another bag of dope. If I get high one more again, something bad is really going to happen to me. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but I said, fuck that. Because the universe wanted to see where we were. Where do, is, do you understand? Okay, if you, if you can hear me, then why the fuck ain't you listening, nigga? You want to go to prison? You really want to be homeless? You really, you really want to be dead in these streets? You really want these people to win? And it ain't. It's not even about winning, but the universe will be like these motherfuckers. Is, 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 has been. You are playing. You're playing the part that people have written for you instead of the one the Most High God has tailored for you. So you're gonna keep. You're gonna. You're just gonna hand your spot over to these losing ass niggas and bitches, family, friends, or otherwise. That's what you're gonna do. You do it one more time. We'll show you what happens. And I said, I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> that's for certain. That's for true. Conclusions are within reach in this situation for you. Okay, just you gotta believe that. If, and I'm telling y'all, y'all know, you know, you know what I'm gonna tell you right now too, though. Uh, one of the biggest, you know, why people, you know, why y'all motherfuckers like to watch me, okay? Besides the fact that I'm damn devilishly handsome and I got pretty white teeth and I cuss like a sailor, y'all like to watch me because I'm 
This is is listen. This is as real as it gets. <laughs> I ain't got no reason to fucking lie. I be telling y'all the truth about shit. This is a real. These shit. I ain't. I don't make shit up. Okay. I don't have to. <laughs> y'all can see. Listen. You know what? If I was rich too, still though, I would. You know, the only thing. The only thing that would be different would be. You know, I'd have like video quality, kind of better, better microphone and shit. But I would still dress like this. The motherfucker wouldn't even ever know I was rich. I could be. I could be rich right motherfucking now. And wouldn't nobody know. We're gonna leave it right there. I'm your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to, I love you to the moon and back. I do. Deuces. <laughs>